Hi everyone, this is Becky. Welcome back to my channel. It's been like three weeks since I last uploaded, but I thought I would do an update on my gray hair. And the last time I colored it was back in December of 2019. Pretty sure it was December. It may have been January, but I'm pretty sure it was December. So it's been about 11 months, and this is what it's looking like now. To the other side. I got, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I have more white right here. And then it's windy outside, so my hair is, well, it's a little crazy right now. But it's really windy, and it looks like it's going to rain a lot tonight. So I have a couple more errands to run, and then I'm going to go home and eat my dinner. Today was my day off. It was great. And I stopped at Chipotle. I got my food right here. So I can't wait to go home and eat that. Nothing like nice warm food, right? <laughs> now, a wintry, and well, it's not winter yet, but on a windy day. So I just thought I would share my update. You know, the hardest thing with growing your gray hair out is at the beginning, when you first start, because then you just have the roots and everything else. It's kind of dark and it looks awful. And I did use the hair chalk, which I showed you in one of my videos when I was started doing this. Um, and that really helped me because I put the blue and I, I did pink and I did purple to more, more like a mauve color. And to help me because oh, it was so awful just having the gray on one it's up on one side. And since I parted on the side, it was mostly gray here and then everything else was dark. So it was just weird. But I'm glad that I stuck to it because I'm really liking it. I'm getting so used to my gray. So I've been cutting it myself too, trimming it. And since it's wavy, it's forgiven. Because <laughs> if it was, um, if I had straight hair, I don't think I could do it. i cut it on my own. But anyway. That's what's going on with me. Hope everyone is doing well. I know this is Wednesday. I know that yesterday the whole thing was crazy. We still don't know the end results, but uh, I'm just going to remind you all to keep the peace, um, to trust God, and just write it out, you guys. <laughs> it'll be what, it, what it'll be, right? But God is in control, and He loves you and me, and He will take care of you and me, so... Let's just put our trust in Him and not lose our minds or go bonkers or be angry with anybody because that doesn't help either. We should all try to get along and love one another and forgive one another if we have to. Anyway, so the other thing that I did was I bought a new car. So this is my new car that I'm in. The inside is still really clean and neat. It smells like a new car and I'm loving it. So this is a Nissan Rogue Sport. Because Nissan has a rug which is bigger, but I got the Sport because it's, it's smaller. Um, it's like a little mini SUV, so it's smaller. It's perfect for me. But I love it, you guys, and you're all so good. I'm just in love with my car. And um, if you follow me, you know that my, my Saturn was 20 years old. Yeah. And, oh my gosh, it needed uh, more repairs because uh, it had a mega oil leak. And it left me stranded. Actually, I was running some errands and I was making a left turn and it the car just died on me, completely died on me. And all these symbols came up you know, on the dashboard and I was freaking out. I, there was nothing I could do. I got out of my car. I started to push it on my own. And these two lovely young men that I call my angels came to my rescue. They signaled me to get inside the car and they pushed me to safety where uh, to a parking lot where I could be towed safely, you know. And so I'm so grateful for them and so grateful that nothing happened. Because um, the mechanic told me that the reason why it stopped is because it ran out of oil and in order to prevent the engine from getting damaged or burning, burning up, whatever, it stopped like a kill switch. But imagine if I had been on the highway, if it had been later, later on, because I was going to run a couple more errands and then I was going to get on, on the road. And imagine if I had been driving 50 because on the, the highway that I drive on is, is 50 miles an hour. And my car had just stopped like it did. Somebody could have hit me really bad. It could have been a really bad accident. So I think it happened at the intersection and that it was fine and everything was okay. And this lovely young man, like I said, came to my rescue. So I'm so grateful for that. 
but that was my cue. It's, it was time for a new car. I have been procrastinating because, you know, we always had the little doubt. What if things go wrong, things get worse, and, um, you know, you once you buy a new car, you have the payments to make every month. And I thought, what if I cannot make the payments, if I lose my job, or if something happens? But uh, at that point, it was like I was without a car because I decided to junk it. I went like 20 years. I'm not going to put any more money into it. And my nephew said, you know what? It has it has run its course. It's time to let it go. <laughs> Which was hard letting go, you know. I realized it was hard to let it go because I was so attached to it. I mean, having the same car for 20 years. But yeah, I said no because it needed uh, repairs. And I would, he told me, the mechanic, that I would have to keep an eye and the oil checking every like every week because it will continue to, even though he will fix it it will continue to do some leaking and i went like you know what no i'm done i'm not young anymore i don't need the headaches i don't want to get stranded again i don't uh, you know no um this car is all everything that i wanted it's all wheel drive it's square for the pacific northwest especially in the winter when it gets cold and icy so it's great it has all kinds of safety features, so uh, it really helped with my car insurance. So it really it only went up like 20 bucks a month. That was it, even though it's a brand new car. So, so happy about that. So I really like this car. Oh my gosh, so far, I love, I'm loving it. <laughs> loving it, loving it. So anyway, that is the I did on my life. And I hope everyone is doing well, and that you're all taking care of yourselves. And if it's cold where you're at, hopefully that you are staying warm. We'll see you next time and bye-bye everybody.